Good evening. How are you doing? Hope you've had a good day. We're Monday, aren't we? Hope you've had a good Monday. We've been to the cinema today. We've been to the library today. We've been doing all sorts today. So what have you guys been up to? What have you been up to? So thank you for joining. This is the second already in this series of Love Hearts Lives that I've been doing with some of the lovely Love Hearts in my team. So um, last week, if you didn't catch it, we had the lovely, lovely, hey Amy, we had the lovely Kaylee Barnes on. And she she's currently on maternity leave. She um, she joined she's not she's not been in the business that long but she's doing incredibly so tonight we've got somebody that's been in the business a lot longer i want to i want you to hear from a range of different women just you know so you know that you too can do this it's not just people you know that's either stay at home all day or you know there's a range of people in this business but before i tell you who it is you might have seen anyway but before i introduce her I just want to say, I've heard some really funny things recently, actually, online, and it does make me chuckle because I've seen things about, um, like, it's really sad that people, like, get sucked into the network marketing industry, and we're all, like, bots who, like, say the same stuff and, and that, but it, it really does make me chuckle because, you know, people say, Oh, we start saying that everybody around us, we're like all the, everybody's like negative and we just like post positive quotes all the time. And there may be some truth in the fact that yes, we, we are positive. Um, but the truth is that this is such a journey of self-development. When you get into network marketing, um, it's, it's such a journey of growth. And I mean, there's so much, there's so much around mental health these days and if we're part of something that, you know, makes us feel confident in our own skin and we're kind to one another and we're helping each other, I don't understand how, how people can bash that. So again, like I said in my first live, it's raising the awareness of the industry. Um, yes, there are people that do it in the wrong way, but we're here to show you that you can change your life doing this and it's all, it's not all about being spammy and posting the same things as everybody else is not like that so so um i just wanted to sort of say that really um there's a quote actually i won't let you down seeing as they were all about positive quotes there's a quote by an awesome guy called david t.s wood and he says quite rightly don't take advice from broke unhappy people so there you go don't take advice from broke, unhappy people. Listen to the people who've been there, done it and got the t-shirt. <laughs> so, um, I just wanted to, to say again, like I did last time, like we're, we're a mission-based company. We are well-respected. We've actually grown faster than Apple, which is insane. Um, and we've actually partnered with Coty, who... Their portfolio includes like Calvin Klein, uh, Michael Kors, uh, Hugo Boss, Chloe. There's loads and loads of brands that you'll recognise. So we are trusted. You know, you can trust us and we're not going anywhere. We are growing fast. So without further ado, I just thought I'd wait till she got on. I'm, I hope my phone won't fall down. I'd like to introduce to the live um, a wonderful lady who joined the team, I had to write this down because I couldn't remember the exact date, she joined the team on the 10th of January 2017 and she is now um, a green elite presenter so she has made her way up the comp plan and she is doing incredibly. She's got a team of over 130 ladies right now which she likes to call her beautiful believers who are a team of absolute legends love them to bits uh, and she's personally sold just herself just her not her entire company just her she's personally sold almost 25,000 pounds worth of makeup 
So you know, just saying this stuff sells. <laughs> so without further ado, which one is it? It's that button, isn't it? Let's invite her on. Teresa Lily, are you? Here she comes. Hello. Hey, Sis. Hey, hey, hey. Are you hey. okay? I'm really good, thank you. Really good. Yeah, how good. are you? I'm all right, yeah. Have you had a good, good day? Thank you for the awesome introduction. Oh, no worries. <laughs> oh, dear. Do you want yeah, to no, I'm good, good thank you. I've had a really good day. Bit of a quiet one today. <clears throat> Not yeah. too bad today, so yeah. Yeah, all good. We all need one of those now and then, don't we? Just We chill. certainly do. We certainly yeah. do. <laughs> Bless you. So, do you want to just... I, I've introduced you, but do you want to just say a bit about you before okay. we like crack on to the questions yeah absolutely absolutely for, for, so for those that don't know me i'm Teresa. i am mummy to izzy who is 12 and lewis who is nine pretty much everybody knows lewis my little special guest <laughs> oh special guest <laughs> yeah lewis um has special needs and he is a full of life character who plays quite a big part in my facebook actually so, <laughs> so yeah, I'm a busy, busy mum. Um, like you say, green elite presenter who is pretty much loving life at the moment. It's all good. Awesome. That's and of it. course, look, I'm your big sister. <laughs> of course. Can I just say, look at us in our chairs. We're both like, oh, no, we are both no. chairs. <laughs> both got IKEA chairs. We have got love chairs. IKEA. That's, That's hilarious. hilarious. Carol's <laughs> chairs. <laughs> need to get my lighting sorted though look at your lighting compared to my lighting i know i'm just wondering whether it's a bit bright actually no it's good i'm by the window but we're getting darker evenings now so you're yeah. losing me yeah, we are. <laughs> so i'm gonna start and i'm gonna ask you some questions obviously i know the answers to these but yeah. i just want everyone to know how awesome you are and like how you got to where you are oh bless you so what did you do, sis, before you joined Unique? What did I do before I joined Unique? Well, so I worked part-time, actually. I used to work um, full-time in a solicitor's office. I used to be a paralegal. Um, and then when I had my children, I went down to working part-time for um, Stepping Stones. I don't know if anyone knows it, but it's basically the preschool um, for children with additional needs and disabilities. I got involved with that when... Lewis was a baby actually, um, started off as a volunteer because a lot of my time was taken up as a full-time mum of a child with disabilities, always in hospital, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then I, like I say, I got this part-time job in um, the district specialist centre and I absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. Awesome. I mean, it's so, it's so crazy to see like the range of backgrounds that people come from and we'll obviously go into it a bit later but a lot of us have never even done anything like this before so it's oh, good to see like, where yeah. we've all come from <laughs> absolutely not <laughs> so what made you want to join okay so well like i said i absolutely loved my job i loved working with the children um with special needs and i loved the people that i worked with and i always thought i would be there i never thought i would leave never ever um but obviously you know you became involved with unique Gave me a few makeovers and I just quickly, a few. <laughs> just a few. I was like, "Do my makeup." <laughs> um, yeah, so I quickly fell in love with the product. Um, and as you know, I kind of I wanted more, and I wanted I didn't just want this. I wanted that and that and that. And um, yeah, I sat back and I watched. And obviously, you offered me the opportunity, and straight away I said no. Um, because straight away I thought, no way, this is, that's not me. Um, you know, I don't have the confidence to do anything like that. I don't have the time. Um, I don't have the sales experience. I don't have a clue about network marketing. Um, how could I even possibly consider doing what you do? But then I sat back and I watched for a whole year. <laughs> Sorry, how long? Sorry, a whole year. <laughs> a whole yeah. Year. I sat and I watched and what what took me in, what drew, drew me in was the, not just the success that you were having, but the, the self-confidence that you were oozing. So my little baby sister, who actually, you don't mind me saying, was a quiet little mouse at one stage. <laughs> All of a sudden was this confident woman who was inspiring people and 
you know, having so much fun. And eventually I just kind of thought, right, I need a piece of that action. So as you know, I said, right, okay, I'll get involved, but I'll do it on a smaller scale. I'll literally just, you know, sign up so I can get the free makeup that you keep telling me about. Um, yeah, a little Don't bit of me. cash, because obviously um, I was getting married. So, you know, a bit of extra cash would was going to um, really benefit me. And um, yeah, I just kind of thought, well, I'll sell a few mascaras maybe to my close friends and maybe to my family, but I'll never do it on a on a large scale like you. Um, and here we are. <laughs> I know. Yeah, so this girl right here, she was like, right, I'm going to sign up, but I just want the kit from what I remember. Let me just put my phone yeah. back down. I just moved. I was getting dark. So she was like, oh, I just want the makeup. Stay there. And then she was like, okay, so I'll I'll sell, but I'll only sell to a few people. I was like, okay, all right, fine. Yeah. And then she was like, okay, fine. I want to do the business. And yeah. so what what sort of made you change from from that to going? Well, oh, yeah, I just remember, a if you remember, I was kind of like, well, I'll do it, and I'm happy selling it and promoting it to a few of my friends. Yeah. Um, but you know, I just thought I don't have the sales experience, so. And I don't know what network marketing is. I'm not a team leader. I don't want to build a team. I thought, well, to get anywhere, you have to build a team. You have to be a team leader. I can't recruit people. I can't teach people. Um, I didn't want to do home parties. I didn't want to do live <laughs> videos. It was, you know. And then I think because I had such a good start and I realized how much people do actually love these products and I fell in love with the company and just, you know, the mission um the company's mission and I just kind of got addicted to it I guess I saw <laughs> the success you know I had a really good start and I just wanted more and more and more um so yeah and the fact that you know like you said to me okay if you if you recruit somebody you bring somebody into the business you don't have to train them so I was like okay that's fine I'll, you know a couple of my friends joined me um so I think within about I don't know I think within about a month I had about five on my team and then they kind of, you know, recruited as well. And we did really well, actually. We, we promoted about five times in, in the space of about six weeks, wasn't it? It was yeah. like, it, it was, was fast. Yeah, it was mind blown, mind blown. <laughs> Lush to watch. And that's it. Like people may say, oh, I, I can't sell or I can't recruit, but it's not, it's not really selling and recruiting. It's I don't of, it's, feel it's like sharing. Sales. No, I really don't feel like a salesperson. I still don't have any sales experience. I feel as though um, my all my team are hopping on. Hey, girls. <laughs> yeah, I literally feel, you know, what we're doing is we're sharing a passion for these products that we love. So I was a, I was a Facebooker anyway, um, and I would hop on and I'd go, oh, look at this tan, that, you know, that I've got. And, <laughs> tell people where I'd got it from and that's all I'm doing that's all I, I'm doing I'm not a salesperson and I'll you know if anyone says to me oh yeah you're a salesperson I'm not <laughs> no that's it and quite frankly to be successful in this business as well you quickly learn that you like you can sell small amounts to mm -hmm. be really successful in this it's not all about selling the makeup as we know and yes that is part of it but, you know, you and I, we, we lead with the opportunity more. And that's where our passion lies. It's about yeah. helping other people. Yes, helping them feel beautiful and, you know, that through the makeup. But it's mainly about what the business can do. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And people that say, oh, I'm not a makeup person. You really don't actually have to be. To no, be completely I was, honest. I never used to wear makeup. No, you didn't wear any. On her wedding day, she wore no makeup. On my first wedding day. On your first wedding day, she wore no <laughs> on, makeup. On my second wedding day. On I your second wedding day. <laughs> yeah. But I remember that. Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't used to wear much makeup at all. And I just, you know, I wasn't really into makeup. So, um, no. but that's the good thing. It's not all about the makeup. You know, probably four days out of seven, I don't wear makeup. Me neither. Um, so, you know, you, people might think that, yeah, you have to be glamorous all the time. No, you don't. You absolutely don't. <laughs> God no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be here if that was my criteria. <laughs> oh gosh. So, so how quickly then? You had an awesome start. Yeah. Um. How quickly did you make your join feedback? 
Because it was well, sixty nine pounds at the time, wasn't it? it was when you joined, sixty nine pounds. Yeah, it's normally sixty nine pounds at the moment. It's crazy price, fifty one pounds. Mm-hmm. But yeah, sixty nine pounds when I joined, and um, literally, you know, that was a lot of money for me because I was mm-hmm. saving for a wedding. So, you know, I just thought I can't really afford seventy pounds. You know, um, so I actually worked hard. You know, it's not a get rich quick scheme. It's not going to fall in your lap. You do have to work for it. You know, you do have to talk to people um and share your passion and i you know i think i had such a good head start I, i'm sure i learned um learned uh, earned my um startup fee back within a week yeah yeah you week. probably did at the yeah. rate that you went yeah it was, you... it was just you know it, the commission was just every three hours it's like do you remember i was messaging you going i sold another mascara I've sold yeah <laughs> And another one, and another one. Bro, bro, That's the bro. thing, it's such a buzz as well, you know. It's, that draws you in, the buzz. I never thought I'd get this buzz. And no, people, no. you know, people say to me, oh, you're always happy. I am, I'm always buzzing. <laughs> you <laughs> are too, aren't you? <laughs> well, do you know what, though? Like, it's not, like, some people say, oh, it's not always about being happy, and I'm not all happy, happy all the time. Neither am I, but. No, yes, of course not. It's along the way, it's learning and having that development, that self development, and knowing, like, what to do when you do feel down and you yeah. get over it a lot quicker. Oh, God, um, yeah, it's okay not to be okay, isn't it? Exactly, Absolutely. exactly, that famous quote. So, um, I just want to say, like, it's not, it's not even just the commission that we get. I mean, Teresa and I, we've got quite large teams now and we get paid monthly through our teams um you know we don't we don't get paid if somebody joins you know so no. it's not like come on join my team join my team we don't get paid no, on no, that no. we get we, only we get, get paid if we help somebody in the right direction. exactly we help people be successful if they're successful yeah. we're successful and yeah, i think that's amazing there's no sort of get is no sort of pyramid here we're not sitting ourselves at the top and making everyone else do the work it's just no, not no, the way no. it works um not the way it works at all um so yeah as well as like team team pay and commission we also get as you know don't you sis lots and lots of white cash so we get loads of free makeup <laughs> how much how much free makeup do you have sis um, would you like to see my trunk? Actually? Go for it. Let's see the trunk. Can you see it? Can you see it? Is it open? Can we have a little look? Kind of. <laughs> Can you see is that? Is it too heavy to lift? It is. There you go. <laughs> Wowzers. So yeah, pretty much never have to buy makeup again, Make- do you? Now then I actually know what to do with. <laughs> It's so hard to decide what to wear on the morning, yeah. isn't it? I'm like, mm, what are we going to wear today? <laughs> Bless you. So, what would you say then that you have gained since, you kind of touched on it a bit, but what would you say you've gained since, since oh joining my the team? What have I gained? What have How I long gained? has everybody got? <laughs> yeah, what haven't I gained? So, I've literally gained so much. Like I say, I had no makeup skills whatsoever. I've gained... Um, I've learned loads. So literally, I've watched loads of um, YouTube videos. I threw myself into watching makeup videos and teaching myself. Um, I, I've so I've learned makeup skills. I've learned um, how to talk to people. Really, how to you know build relationships with people. I've I've gained so many friends, um, lifelong friends. You know, we're all sharing the same passion. We're all we're all on this amazing journey um i've got a team of 137 i think it is today women who i value so much we have so much fun together and it's like nothing else um what else i've had to write down literally (laughs) i'm not surprised yeah so we've got a zero a zero drama policy in our team and you just gain so much um support i think we all hold each other's hands we're all like wanting each other to succeed there's no bitchiness or no sort of dragging each other down we're all uplifting each other and you know helping each other to succeed what else have i gained um we do a lot of personal development um as part of our training so i think i've gained so much self-confidence without you know being too confident i feel like a much brighter confident happier person 
Um, and I've almost become addicted to personal development, to be fair. <laughs> I can't get enough of it. It is um, a little bit addictive. Yeah, so I've just gained loads. I mean, have I forgotten anything? I don't know. I've gained loads, what? absolutely loads. What are you reading at the moment or listening to? Okay. A particular... Yeah, so I'm more of a listener. So I'm listening to Girl, Wash Your Face, and I'm very nearly finished yeah. that. Um, and I'm reading The Compound Effect, which is all about momentum and... Awesome but Yeah, so I'm kind of, if I'm in a reading mood, then I'll, I'll read that. If I'm in a listening mood and I'm in the car, you know, driving on the school run, etc., etc., then I'll listen. Um, but every woman, every woman should watch, should listen to Girl, Wash Your Face. Rachel Hollis is an amazing lady. She <laughs> just makes you see things differently and she gives you that fire in your soul, that fire in your belly. Not necessarily about, you know, in business, but just in life. So, yeah, personal development for me is probably the biggest thing that I have gained from this business. The fact think that, you know, I'm a positive role model to my children now as well. And that is, you know, I was quite guilty of putting myself down all the time and being a bit meh, you know, and a little bit negative. And, but now the fact that my 12-year-old will turn around to me and say, Mum you know, what happened to, what about the law of attraction? And you can do this. And, you know, a little boy with special needs, his, in his mind, he just, if he thinks he can't do something, he's like, I can, I will, I can, I will. And he'll keep trying yeah. to me. Yeah, exactly. That is really, really important to me. Really, really important. Yeah, same. Like, I mean, self-development is huge oh. amongst all of us. And that's why we end up, posting positive stuff on facebook people yeah, may laugh but <laughs> it's because we're always yeah we're always learning and these yeah. things become so much more relatable and so many ladies on the team not all of them but a lot of them are mums and yeah. we learn like we develop ourselves we put our headphones in we do our washing up or we Absolutely. we do that and to to get to a place where you feel like you're continuously learning and you're helping you know not just yourself, but your kids and your family and everyone around you. Yeah. Yes, admittedly, you do realise that some people around you, you know, you, you don't want them on your bus. Like, <laughs> don't let them on your bus. That's something else. And don't people do say, bus, they you know, your energy. Yeah. And, and they're bots and they've changed and they don't realise. No, we do realise. We do yeah. realise we've changed. Exactly. But we're choosing to go down the positive path. We have, and I've learned in life, you know, everybody's got a story, haven't they? Um, and yeah. I won't go into it, but I've, I've learned in life that, you know, life is very, very short, very, very short. And actually, you know, whereas I was kind of stuck in a rut and didn't think that I could better myself, I thought that that was where I was always going to be. And, you know, that, that was life. Um, but now, actually, I'm on this amazing journey and I am every day striving to be the best possible version of myself and, you know, if, giving that influence on my children as well. And I think that's so important. So, so important. Definitely. That's a huge part of it for me too. Yeah. Seeing yeah. the kids grow up and having that confidence is, is insane. It's invaluable. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what's your biggest challenge so far? Oh, my biggest challenge. I'll tell you, the biggest challenge, this is an easy question because the biggest challenge... Um, has been overcoming fear and overcoming um, you know the fear of what other people think you know I used to worry about what people thought about me and I used to worry about what people would think about me but actually you know anyone that thinks bad of me for trying to better my life for myself and my family then you know move aside because absolutely that's all I'm trying to do and that it, that does take a lot of you know, it takes a lot of work to actually overcome fear. Um, but the fact that, you know, I've learned to face fear and instead of walk away from it or shy away from it, just run at it and just, you know, like I said, I've become a bit addicted to stepping outside my comfort zone. It's just, you know, so, yeah, I think that was my, my biggest challenge. <clears throat> Absolutely. I think, yeah, it goes back to like caveman days, doesn't it? Like when we had to like be fearful for survival but like that's not the case anymore but our brains they're so clever they kind of make up these stories and like 
Oh. If you do a Facebook Live, you're going to die. Yeah. Like and it's like, no, you're not yeah. going to die doing a Facebook no. Live. You know, exactly. it's fine. Doing and a once Facebook you... Live is very scary, but yeah. the more you do it, the easier it gets. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And it's just taking little steps every time. Like some of my new teammates say to me, oh, yeah, but how do you do that? I was exactly the same. I know you were of too. Of course, and... yeah. You and I will look back at our first ever lives and I know that I proper cringe when I look back at yeah. my first lives. <laughs> exactly. And it just becomes easier. You just got to take little baby steps out each time out of that circle. Just go out a little bit further each exactly, time. Exactly. Then the circle but grows. It happens. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I've already asked you that. I was going to ask you there what you were reading at the moment, but I jumped ahead there. So... I'll ask you now, what would you say? Because I know there's a lot of people that will probably watch this back or are watching now mm -hmm. who are thinking, shall I do this? Shall I not? And I know at the moment, the price of the kit is so low. And we know that the company has got something huge in store next oh. month. Something massive is coming. We don't know exactly what it is. You might have seen Teresa and I talking about it, but Unique are making changes to the comp plan who, that is just going to make us go, ah, and everyone who's involved <laughs> in this and, you know, contribute in some way, they're going to benefit. We don't know exactly what it is yet. <laughs> you know, when it's sprung on us, it'll be, it'll be news to us too. So like, but you know, you Unique say something's going to be big, it's going to be huge. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Over the years. Absolutely. And what would you say then to those people who are considering it but they're just not they're just not ready they're kind of where you were at there's the beginning. lots there's lots and as you know we mm -hmm. talk to people every day um and i know personally that i've got lots of people that are right sitting on that fence and they don't know whether to jump down and i was like that i was like that for a whole year so my advice would be if something scares you but it also excites you if it, you get that little tiny curiosity in your belly like just do it because what have you got to lose do it jump right in with both feet um and don't wait don't wait like I did <laughs> I waited a whole year and now I think where would I be if I had listened to you the first time you said to me trust me sis you need to get involved where would I be so do it. Jump right down. I know she's always going to say, I told you. I told, told you so. I told, you. told you so. I love but saying yeah, that. Yeah, that is my biggest advice. Do not wait. Do not wait. Just if it excites you and it scares you at the same time, jump right in with both feet. Um, and just learn along the way. Just say yes. And do it. Say yes and learn later. Exactly. Same with anything. Anything scares you and excites you. And you're not sure. Just say yes to it and then learn along the way. Defo. And it really is like a complete no risk decision. Like I was only saying to one of my new ladies last night, like she's she's joined and she was saying how like if you start a new business, you pay, you know, thousands of pounds on whatever it is, overheads or whatever. I don't really okay. know yeah, you what would. you spend the money on, but I know you spend a lot of money and you kind of it you kind of have to make it work. Well, you do. Um, you have to spend a hell of a lot of time to before you get that money back as well, don't you? Yeah, yeah. and you have to think about what you're going to sell and everything, your own website, all stuff like that. But with this, it literally is given to you and you've got the whole world at your fingertips. It's like, here you are, have a really, really successful business. Here you yeah. are. And it's like we'll offer it we will continue to offer it to everybody because we know how awesome it is and we we want to share that with you if you say oh, no, no that's cool <laughs> what's that you broke up a little bit there sorry yeah i said i'll never stop offering it because yeah if we're holding it to ourselves then that's selfish i believe because you know you don't know who out there just could need it exactly it. even exactly. if it's just you you want to make new friends or you want to build on your confidence. It doesn't have to be about the money, but, you know, obviously the money's a bonus. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, no, just go for it. Absolutely go for it, because there's literally nothing to lose. Like you say, there's no no pressures. There's no targets. There's no catches either, is there? No. 
and I was saying as well, like my team and your team is made up of people who want the kit. It's made up of people who want to do it as a hobby. They want to sell to their friends. That's cool. Yeah. Um, it's made up of people who, <laughs> who, you know, want to really treat this as a business and they want to go to the top and that's yeah. cool too. We're here for everybody. Mm -hmm. So, and, and it was like I said, going back to the whole offering the opportunity thing. I always compare it to like when you're on an aeroplane and the air hostesses come round and they're like, tea, tea, any more oh, yeah. tea, tea. And, you know, you say no if you don't want another cup exactly. of tea. They don't go, oh, I'm not going to ask everybody else. Yes. Or I won't ask again. Do you know what I mean? We'll continue so asking. So it's true. fine if you say no. <laughs> exactly. But just know that it is awesome and it could be huge for you. So... Is there anything else you want to say before I let you go, sis? I don't think so, no. I mean, I thank you all the time for offering me the opportunity and actually sticking with me and thinking, you knew one day I'd join. You knew one day I'd join. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and I'm just so grateful that, you know, we're sharing this journey together and that we're, we're actually having so much fun, so much fun. That's the best thing. Sharing it with the people you love. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Really nice. Thank um, you. I will be, if you stay there, because if you jump off, it might like go a bit yeah, funny. No, We've realised. So we'll probably do quite a few more of these because I want you to hear from a range of different ladies from all backgrounds, all personalities, um, and just let you know like what we get up to and where we started and where we are now so thanks so much sis i love you lots i'll probably speak to you like later okay. <laughs> thanks for watching thanks for watching peeps <laughs> see you later bye, bye.